We're learning today, too, about 44 new cases of the new illness on board the Diamond Princess. That's the cruise ship still under quarantine in Yokohama, Japan. 251 Canadians are passengers. Eight are off the ship, though, being treated in Japanese hospitals because they have tested positive. We're hearing now from a Quebec couple on board, Julien Bergeron and Manon Trudel. Uh, they've been talking to us at CBC News, saying they're worried about all of these new cases. They do say they've had a chance to speak with a consular official from Canada who tells them details are being finalized for an onshore quarantine facility. So, uh, as uh, freelance reporter Grace Lee tells us in more detail, Japanese officials are planning to do that to ease some of the restrictions on passengers. Some people will be allowed to disembark as early as tomorrow, but there are some strict conditions. Of course, nobody with coronavirus will be able to disembark, uh, but priority will be given to those who are elderly, those who have underlying health conditions, and those who are in rooms that have no balconies or windows. Now, Japanese authorities had said that these people would be allowed to leave next week. They've pulled that up after pushing it back. So this date has kind of been moving around wildly. But the key kind of thing to remember here is that they're only allowing those who have tested for coronavirus and have tested negative. And there have only been about 300 or so people tested so far. 200 tests are underway at this moment. So it's likely we won't see too many people leaving tomorrow. And those who do leave, aren't actually going home according to Japanese authorities they'll be taken to somewhere here uh, on, Jap on Japan uh, to be further monitored for any health conditions. Grace we've been talking about the latest numbers and new cases any more details about uh, nationalities or any further information on these new diagnoses and confirmations? Yeah, so today, 44 new cases were confirmed. According to Japanese authorities, uh, most of these passengers were elderly, over 60 or so, uh, and half of them were Japanese nationals. But uh, other than that, there aren't uh, any kind of figures on where they were from. Uh, but of course, uh, most of them were passengers. Only one new crew member confirmed. That's Grace Lee as we spoke from Yokohama, Japan. Just a few more details because Grace was citing some of the information in a release from Princess Cruises uh, talking about what the passengers may have available to them. The, um, that shoreline facility that the Canadian consular officials were referring to. If the person tests negative, they have the choice. He or she has the choice to go on to this quarantine housing facility on shore uh, that they're working on. Housing facility which will include individual rooms, individual bathrooms, no medical clinics at the facilities, food Japanese style, no Western meals. So if guests uh, do not wish to have those sorts of um, surroundings, they are welcome to stay on board even as the number of coronavirus virus cases goes up. So those are the kinds of things that Canadian passengers may have to decide on, may have to contend with if they do get tested and do indeed test negative. These are the facilities in which they could be um, housed there in Japan.